What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new Steve Carell film, Despicable Me 3. Despicable Me 3 stars Steve Carell, Kristen Wiig, and Trey Parker. It is the third film in the Despicable Me series and the fourth in the universe with Minions coming right before this, but that was like a super prequel that focused only on the little Minion characters in the film. This movie covers the story of Gru, who is voiced by Steve Carell, finding out that he actually has a twin brother and he meets up with his twin brother and they decide that they want to get back into the family business of villainy after some less than great stuff happens for Gru. Now, this all revolves around the fact that there is another villain voiced by Trey Parker of South Park fame who is called Balthazar Brat and he is trying to take over the world and destroy cities and all this other crazy stuff and they have to stop him. And honestly, Balthazar Brat was my favorite thing about this whole movie. Trey Parker does a great job voicing him. The character has a really funny backstory and sort of like the reason he's angry at the world actually makes sense and the clever tools that they give him and his general style is all really great because it's also fitting with the era that he's supposed to be coming from and it makes for a really entertaining character. Gru and his twin brother Drew, who are both voiced by Steve Carell obviously, are fine. They're both sort of the same. They're sort of just opposites of the same coin. Um, so one is kind of dark while the other is kind of light, one is kind of smart while the other is kind of dumb, but their like back and forth was somewhat entertaining in the film and it did make for an interesting story aspect. And I think that that's the one thing about this movie is the actual story it's telling is somewhat interesting, it's just that the script is lacking in making it funny and entertaining. And while the movie does have some clever scenes, even scenes with the minions, I'll admit, the scenes when they're in prison are actually pretty funny, and this is coming from someone that kind of hates the minions just always. Ever, if I see a minion, I'm, I hate it. But I will say that that sequence was actually somewhat funny in the film, but it only lasts like a minute. And I think that that was the problem. This film had a couple clever aspects that could have been more in-depth and it would have been funnier, but instead they're just very surface and you get a good, like, mediocre laugh out of it and then it's just over. So while the script had some clever moments, it also was full of a lot of really bland moments. And I think that that's partially because these films are stale at this point. Despicable Me 1 is a really solid animated movie. It's funny, it's got an interesting story, and everything about it works really well. And then the second one kind of went down a little bit more. And then they made Minions, and it made even more money, and it was terrible. Like, Minions is awful. And this movie is better than Minions, but it's still worse than Despicable Me 1 and 2. And it's because these films are just getting worse and worse as they go on, and then they're not really caring because they're still making so much money off of it. And then just like every other one, Minions play too big of a role in this film. They have their own separate side story in this film, and it's too much. It's too much. This movie is 90 minutes long, and it does not devote anywhere near enough time to the actual core story for us to care about it at all. So combined with the lack of story that's there for the actual characters that matter in what it's trying to tell, the pacing of this film is not good. It is really, really off kilter between action sequences and then emotional sequences. It's kind of just all over the place, which was really odd because I feel like the last few movies have actually been fine pacing wise. They might not have been good movies in my opinion, but they were at least paced well and this one, it felt super rushed, and like I said, the fact that the Minion storyline is added in there makes it so there's even less, less screen time for the characters that are involved in the main story. And that made for a movie that sort of felt like it was dragging itself along. And when it wasn't dragging itself, it would have like one big up moment and you'd be like, wow, this movie's okay. And then it would just immediately fall back down into being really slow. And it was disappointing because like I said earlier, I didn't hate this movie. It had some interesting and clever aspects to the story, but it just didn't capitalize on them at all. Obviously all of the voice acting was really good from Kristen Wiig and Steve Carell and Trey Parker, but it was just the fact that their characters weren't given the time that they deserved on screen for us to feel attached to the way they were in this story. Trey Parker, I think, did the best job in this whole film, and his character actually was built a good amount. However, he was almost like another side story. This film is just a bunch of small stories that are all supposed to combine into one good story, but they don't. They just feel like a bunch of misplaced scenes that sort of fall together at the end. I'm gonna give Despicable Me 3 a C. 
When I grade children's movies, I always try to take into account if kids will enjoy it. And I have to say, kids would probably still enjoy Despicable Me 3. I'm an adult, so I can't expect every animated movie to be a Pixar film that's like, oh my god, it's so heartfelt and amazing. Sometimes they're just gonna kind of be dumb and not that great. And that's kind of what this is. It's fine. A kid will get some laughs, and it'll kill an hour and a half, and as a parent, you can at least get somewhat of enjoyment out of it, but it's just really not that good, and if you're looking for an animated movie or a kid's movie to take someone to, I would say go to Cars 3 before you go to this. Well guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this review, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of Despicable Me 3, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and I hope to see you guys later.